welcome back to Computers for the Completely Clueless. I'm Lee Keller. Kim Cavanaugh. We're talking about Picasa, free image editing software, mm -hmm. photo organization software. And as we're going to see in this segment, also a great way to publish and do some special effects. Yeah, let's take a look at Which is really kind of cool. Effects. And uh, we're going to take a quick look at some of those things uh, right now. Now, one of the things that uh, you might want to do, if you have a crowd of people, but you want to focus in on just one person, what's really kind of fun sometimes is to basically fuzz out or, you know, uh, you know. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, we're going to fuzz out. I know there's a technical <laughs> term here for that. We call it soft focus. So that's what, uh, that's what they call it here in Picasa. So I've clicked on the effects tab, mm -hmm. and over on the list of effects, I actually see some previews of what uh, the effect's going to be. And the idea here is I want to change my focus to focus in on just this one individual. Now, it's really easy. I can change the location of the focus. Then I can change the size of the focus, make it bigger, make my uh, in-focus area bigger or smaller. And then I can change the amount of the soft focus that's applied. So this can be really great, again, especially if you've got a picture of an individual and you want to kind of uh, de-emphasize part of the picture by making it a little bit out of focus. You can do that, and then your eye is automatically drawn to the person who's there at the uh, the center of your picture. So I'll go ahead and apply that, and, and there you go. So, so pretty, pretty easy. cool, huh? Yep. Now again, very easy to undo things. Very easy to go right back here. to my library. I want to go back to our hibiscus picture. And now, when you left, did that sort of uh, freeze that effect on that picture? Well, I undid that one. So I think if I went back to it. It would be there just fine, just like you're shaking your head saying yes. All right, here's our hibiscus picture, okay. Lee. Uh, and again, let's take a look at some of the effects. So again, you might want to play with soft focus here because, again, look at the, the... Beautiful. It's gorgeous. The, the focus of the picture now is the flower and not all the stuff that's around it. So that's one thing that you might want to use, again, that effect for. But check out some of these other ones. Sepia. Yeah. You know what sepia means? Yeah, it sort of uh, makes it look like an old-fashioned yeah. picture. Yeah, and really one nice. click, and we have sepia tone. So if you've got a picture and you want to make it look like it's taken back in the you know the late 1800s or you know turn of the century, you can give it that kind of yeah. old-fashioned look by just clicking one time on a button. Um, and again, everything is really easy to get back from. Just click on the undo button. Yeah. I like this focal black and this white. This focal black, focal black and white is kind of interesting. Uh, again, like the soft focus, there's a center point. So if I set my center point on my red flower here, I can change the amount of size or the size of my focal point. Check it out. Most of my picture now is black and white. Yeah, it looks really and, nice. It's very uh, artistic. It's not bad. I mean, it's a great little, and again, for free, you can't beat it, and you can always play around again with the sharpness, and if you're really twisted into something odd, you can actually see the area that uh, the software has defined yeah. to be the soft or the, the part that keeps the color. And again, so, it's a program like any other program. You want to play with it. Absolutely. Experiment. Absolutely. You can tint a picture. So you want to take a picture and, and give it, a again, a, a very interesting kind of color effect. You can take that same picture, and you can choose from any of the colors in the color palette. And I like the way it updates on the picture immediately. I yeah. Mean, I you mean, see I, it live. I'm just floating my mouse around. And a lot of programs, you'd have to select, say OK, click mm -hmm. Yes, did it go back. This all happens on the fly right in front of your eyes. So very, very cool all the different kinds of effects you can do. Saturation is always fun. You can take a picture and, and then make it into like a pop art poster yeah. uh, by changing the amount of saturation of the color. Um, just so many cool things and it's great fun. And not only that, Lee, this is a great way to learn some of the terminology and if you want to graduate up into a more full-featured um, image editor like Photoshop. Very beginning level um, here, but it's, it's you, exciting. It's you can learn the basics and you can see immediate results. So. Um, and really, Picasa, for a lot of people, is really maybe the, all, the only software they need for doing their image editing. It's really quite, quite robust. Now, after you've got all your pictures fixed up and everything, mm -hmm. what are some of the things you can do with them, Kim? Well, there's a lot of great things right underneath this tab here called Create. Wow, look at this. Now, if you look at these, you can see all these things that you can do. Number one, set the picture as your desktop. So you've gone into Picasso, you've got that great picture at the beach, mm -hmm. uh, and you want that to be your desktop photograph that's on the computer, one click away. Find the picture great. and change that. You can make a poster. Let's take a quick look at that one. So what I want to do here is it will help me pick 
the size for my printing. Mm -hmm. This is basically what it's going to do. It's going to blow this up into a bigger size that I can actually print out. And I'm going to just go ahead and, and say OK. And what it's done now is it's taken that picture and it's kind of cropped it. Oh, look at that. And mm -hmm. set it the way I want. And I can kind of just use my little zoom tool to zoom around. So all sorts of neat stuff here that you can do with a... Um, with a poster, uh, with the poster creator. And I'm going to exit out of that. So you would just take a picture and, again, find the portion of the picture that you really want to work with. And this kind of um, zooms it in and zooms it out. It's pretty cool. All right, so under Create, let's take another quick look. So that's our poster. Now, this next one looks like a I lot like of fun. I like the picture collage. That's a lot of fun. Now, and notice it says clips there, so you can select Right, a bunch so of them. what I can do is I can go ahead and I can add all of these to my collage. Oh. And then I can take my collage. Look how easy this is. Wow. So I've and You're got just a, dragging I'm them to where you want them. I'm just dragging them and dropping them. And now, what's the little thing on the side for? Well, that? I bet that allows me to do things Grab like that red rotate dot the picture. Wow, look at and this. And expand the size of the picture. So easy. So I can take this picture, and again, all I do is have my mouse there. It's all mouse controlled. And now I can... Say, all right, I want that picture to be a little bit bigger, and I'm going to put my other pictures on top. Now I've got a really, really cool collage that might tell a story by just putting pictures around and arranging them the way I want. And it's easy to do. Yeah, and look, you've got buttons across the bottom. Maybe I want to shuffle my pictures around. Makes them easy. Okay, or I want to scramble it up a little bit. Okay, or I can go back to my view in my edit mode. So really, really easy to create a collage. You can yeah. do some really fun, creative stuff right there within that now interface. Now you notice it's made some extra tabs. It does. And I had this import one up here. I didn't mean to have that one. But there's my collage tab. And that shows me everything else that's there. Maybe I want to get another picture and add it to it. Well, I just go over here, grab the picture I want. So this is nice. Okay. You can expand it as uh -huh. you go. And I can add that right on in there. And there's my other picture. So, again, very, very easy, all mouse controlled, and wow, just doesn't get any better than it, huh? Really, really fun. What else do we have? This is fun. Yeah, okay. Well, let's, uh, I'm going to exit out of this and not save my collage. So, discard my changes. Um, other things under create, I can create a movie. Now, this is really cool. Maybe you've got a website, you want to post up a whole series of pictures, and um, you can do all sorts of things. For instance, you can add an audio track. Right? Maybe you like want a, a song. an MP3 file or yeah, something? Yeah, an MP3 file. You want nice. a background song to play while the movie is showing. All you got to do is click on load, find the MP3 file that you want to use. And we won't really bother to do that for this show. But you would uh, download it or just select it. Mm -hmm. And then you set a transition style, all sorts of fun transitions here. And the size that you want. And what's really cool is... You can send it right to YouTube. Never noticed that before. Yep, right to YouTube or just create your movie. Uh, and then you can actually preview it right here. All right, and we only had a couple pictures selected. So let me go back here to my library. And actually, I think when we come back from the break, we'll take one more look at that. And we'll also want to look at how to publish your pictures to a service. Uh, and then we'll get to our uh, question of the week. Okay, sounds right. great. Don't go so anywhere. Come on back.